Okay, everybody out there in YouTube and my good friend Buddy out there in the UK. It's been a little while since I did an update and I was waiting to get my new lighting system because um, I'm going to be making some lighting changes here and um, I was waiting to post until I did so but it's taken a little while to save up you know to afford the lighting system because it is a little bit expensive plus I want to also save up to get a chiller because spring I believe today is the first day of spring and even though the weather is still cool it will be warming up pretty soon so I want to make sure that I have the temperature in check especially with the new lighting fixture that I'm I'm gonna get which will be the ATI Sun Power 6 times 54 watt T5 fixture it's a very very good fixture and I will be able to grow all the SPS as well as clams that I want to all over the tank so I'm really happy about that uh, so in the meantime as you can see since my last update I did add another light um, to it to make it a little bit brighter because it was a little too blue for me so I did put the light back in there and things are still looking good let's hone in a little bit here here's one of my new additions the royal grandma he's always out and about swimming around got the torch um, I still have my good friend here the blenny and this guy right here is just growing and growing I don't know what I'm gonna do to it to um, maybe trim it down or I'm not sure so if anybody has any suggestions let me know I still have my Xenia over here just growing crazy too um, see how big it's been in comparison to when I first got it and I have a few couple SPS's here the Monty cap is growing bigger as well as this even though I have probably not sufficient lighting to be growing SPS this thing has grown and I don't think it has all the color it should but it is growing so that is a good sign that I have the, the right parameters in my tank um, other than that here is a mimic tang and I want to give a quick shot of my um, my sump let me turn on the light here and I know that my good friend out in England has been showing off his Dell Tech which is a very great skimmer just few of us can actually afford to have one of those things so I have a SWC and this thing pulls out sufficient amounts of poo <coughs> and all the other contaminants that make our tanks run badly so I have that and then I also have if you were to look at my other videos of my sump you would see that the Kato has grown significantly and it used to just float around in there and now it's just almost taking up the whole chamber so that's great also have my two mp40s right now and they are sent to short pulse which is giving me a, a nice wave and is generating a lot of movement in the tank so things are definitely looking up here and being pretty consistent again a shot of the SWC at work I like a dry skim so it's coming out nice and dark back up to the tank 
you can see all that movement that's happening on the surface and inside the tank looking at these soft corals just going in the breeze alright so there's your update I know you guys been asking for it and um, wanted to get an opportunity to do it before I leave I want to show a side view of the tank here to show you that this water is just crystal clear in this tank it's just it's, it's lovely everything is just really doing great I couldn't be happier like I said I'm going to add a new lighting on there and then I'll really start with the type of corals that I want to start growing in here and can't wait for that to happen just waiting on the money flow to be right okay all right signing out